At the top of the list for me, Colorado at Texas Christian. That's September 2nd on Big Fox. Texas Christian whooped Colorado 38-13 in Boulder, beginning its run at its best season in school history. Prime's buffs are going to play the national championship runner-up with Chandler Morris back in the starting lineup. You'll remember he sprained his knee in this game against Colorado. It was a grade two sprain of his left MCL. And he pitched on a pitch play. He kept it, took a three-yard loss, and lost the job to Max Duggan in the same play. I'm sure that he has a lot to prove, and frankly, I'm very excited. I might be the only person that's overjoyed about that game. Texas at Alabama is September 9th. Alabama beat Texas 2019 in that game on the 40 acres, but if Quinn Ewers finished the game, you know that Texas would have won that game because that was how good he was and how great they were operating the offense, and they would have beaten Alabama before Tennessee did, which is saying a lot, frankly, because we would change the way we look at Texas heading into 2023 had they won that game. Next on the list for me is LSU versus Florida. That's September 3rd in Orlando. Florida State beat LSU 24 to 23, meaning the Knowles beat the eventual SEC West champ in New Orleans. And these are two 10 win teams that are going to go at it again, but the game is in Orlando this time and not New Orleans. The Knowles are retooled and reloaded with Keon Coleman, Jaheim Bell joining Jordan Travis, Johnny Wilson, the OU killer, and Jared Verse for their 2023 campaign. But Jaden Daniels, Malik Neighbors, and Harold Perkins are like, cool, whatever, let's run it back. Let's prove it. Now, the game that I think all of us are going to be watching as closely as any is Ohio State at Notre Dame on September 23rd. The Buckeyes won that game 21-0 to in Columbus and shut out Notre Dame in the second half. Sam Hartman is a step up from Tyler Buckner, who was not bad in that game, right? I know he wasn't great, but he wasn't bad. And the Buckeyes will begin their season with a new starter, behind center for the first time since 2021, and we still don't know who that guy is. That's a reason why if you're bullish on Texas beating Alabama, yeah, because they don't know who the quarterback is. If you're bullish on Notre Dame beating Ohio State, yeah, because they haven't identified who the quarterback is. And with all of this noise around Ryan Day and his job, which I still think is asinine and stupid, you still got to give it a little bit of run. You have to question what the defense is going to look like. You're going to have to question who's going to throw passes to Marvin Harrison Jr. and Emeka Egbuka. You're going to question what the run game is going to look back, look like with Trey Henderson sitting out a lot of the second half of last year. And you already know what Sam Hartman is capable of. You already know what uh, Audric Estime is capable of. Now it's can Benjamin Morrison and that defense contain that Ohio State offense. And I am excited about that game because it's in South Bend. There's reason to believe they should win that game in South Bend, especially if you were paying attention last year and it being so early in the schedule. Thank you for watching the number one college football show. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that you don't miss any of the best college football coverage in America.